Who doesn't want to have millions of dollars and millions of fans who do anything just to get a selfie with you? Who doesn't want to be known and welcomed by everybody? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Who doesn't want to feel like they're admired and recognized by strangers? Fame is a strange phenomenon that can seem somewhat hard to pin down. You can't touch it, and yet it's more powerful than almost any object on Earth. You can't see it, and yet almost everyone wants it. And whoever actually gets it has no control over it. I can't see! There are cars there, mother... The Cambridge English Dictionary defines it as the state of being widely recognized and celebrated for your achievements and skills. Nowadays, all it takes for someone to become famous is a trending reel, no achievements or skills required. The age of influencers has given rise to a class of people who believe they are entitled to fame without doing anything. It seems idiotic and strange, but most importantly, it is dangerous. I was like, like what do y'all do? And he was like, I'm an influencer. I make, I'm like, he actually what? answered, I'm an influencer? Yes. Right. People go to extremes to become famous, and some even try to capitalize on that desire by selling advice on how to achieve it. My name is Shiraz Hassan, and I'm the biggest fame dealer in the world, and I'm looking to create the next Kim Kardashian. They call me the biggest fame dealer in the world, and who have I made famous? Paris Hilton, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, Jennifer Lopez, Priyanka Chopra, and many of the biggest social influencers in the world. These people try to teach us how to pretend that we're on an elaborate vacation when we're really just in our bedroom. They perfect the art of creating a facade that blurs reality, showing us how to present a glamorous life that's often far removed from the truth. There are also apps and websites dedicated to photoshopping fake vacation photos for social media. With just a few clicks, they'll make it look like you're anywhere in the world from the beaches of Bali to the streets of Paris. In 2020, influencer Natalia Taylor fooled her Instagram followers with what seemed like a glamorous vacation. However, Taylor later revealed that these stunning snapshots were actually taken at IKEA. I went on a luxury dream vacation to Bali. Only problem is, I was actually at IKEA the entire time. I hope you guys don't mind, we're doing a little photo shoot right now. It may seem like a joke, but fabricating travel stories is more widespread than you might imagine. The fact that someone has turned creating fake private jet studios for influencers into a business highlights just how prevalent this practice has become. Some influencers have been posting selfies from these fake private jets, and there are a few companies that rent out these studios for $50 to $65 per hour. Vegas ain't ready for us, we're gonna kill it. I think I'm gonna tell my followers that we're going to Dubai. Does it look like my dad paid for all this? Because he doesn't. It's my bar mitzvah money, not, not, not his, so like... Whatever. And almost everyone does this, in one form or another. People fake flying in private jets so that later they can get a free flight on a private jet. Yo, what's up, IG Live fam? We're having our business meeting. No business being at 30,000 feet, bro. I like to keep my shit grounded. We got the flick up. We got the show inside of There are also thousands of tutorials showing you how to fake your way into first class or even onto a private jet. Unbelievably, all it takes is a $12 toilet seat and a little creativity. Have you ever wondered how these Instagram fashion influencers manage to afford to never wear the same thing twice? It turns out, some of them have a clever trick up their sleeves. Companies now offer rentals of empty bags and boxes from luxury brands specifically for Instagram photo shoots. This ingenious strategy allows influencers to create an illusion of endless luxury, all without breaking the bank. Nearly 20% of all posts about fashion products on Instagram feature counterfeit items. People also pretended to go on a hike on Instagram while actually being in their backyard. And there's something even worse, Instagram influencers can fake their way into looking younger. People often appear to have a much smoother face than they actually do. Social media gives them the power to shape their appearance as they see fit. But the illusion doesn't stop there. Some people use the gym space as a backdrop for their latest social media posts rather than for actual exercise. People do this. Okay. That's me struggling to use my pants and my clothes. <laughs> People do this, and they might say they don't, but they do. I'm just letting the Instagrammers know. Celebrities and gym influencers are often caught lifting fake weights. Even those who have more toned physiques do not always look perfect like they are often believed to be in their photos. Proof that social media is fake.
About three years ago, I started noticing strange patterns on Instagram. Users with an unusual number of followers making comments that didn't seem quite human. Out of curiosity, I looked into their follower counts, and many exceeded mine even though they had been on Instagram for only a fraction of time. So how did these influencers grow such large audiences so quickly? From Instagram accounts with thousands of likes and followers to Facebook posts that go viral overnight. Ever wonder if it's actually legit and what could be behind those crazy spikes? It looks like this video is going viral, but remember, this is all fake. What if I told you that many of your favorite influencers didn't actually earn their followers, they purchased them? You don't have to go to the dark web or anything. You just go to the straight up internet and you can buy pretty much anything you want. Recent research reveals that 49% of Instagram influencers have engaged in follower fraud. One in four influencers purchased 15% of their followers and three out of four bought over 10,000 followers. Nearly every major celebrity now has fake followers. Some people might think purchasing followers isn't a big deal, just a shortcut to getting real followers. However, purchased followers are not valuable to advertisers because they aren't real people. They are non-human bots running as scripts on a computer somewhere. A combination of sort of uh, artificial intelligence and like walls of phones that are just kind of, you know, clicking things over and over and clicking likes over and over. And they create this artificial interest or this sense of artificial interest or engagement in certain things. On five sites, I have over 100 million people. And that includes Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything. After all of this, one question arises in our minds. But why do influencers go to such extremes and use dramatic tricks to become famous? People fake private gym trainings so that later they can go and get a free training at a private gym. They fake all expensive paid camping trips so that later they can get a free all expensive paid camping trip. They fake hikes in the redwoods so that they can try and get free hiking gear and sponsorships. They use those fake followers to convince brands of their influence. This fake photos quickly become a currency that you can use to get free real experiences, products and sponsorships. The fact that influencers get paid so much money is a result of how much attention they are able to receive and monetize that. Our attention has become the most valuable currency, and there is an ongoing battle being fought for it.